Hello everybody and welcome to this video of mine here on NFO Guides or Info Guides. We are going to talk about a new piece of hardware that I just picked up. It is a uh, eight inch uh, touchscreen portable LCD screen. And so we're going to go ahead and get into that here and go over why I purchased it and let you guys see what it is. All right, so I'm your host, uh, Axler, well, I'm your host, NFO Guides. Axler Twinblade is a game name I usually go by. But in this video, we're just NFO Guides or Info Guides. And we're going to be talking about this 8-inch touchscreen and why I purchased it here for the purpose of streaming and all this kind of stuff. But I'm also into crypto mining. So if this doesn't work out the way I hope it does for streaming, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to convert this thing over and dual purpose it to using it on uh, my crypto mining machines for troubleshooting and all that. But what is this all you're talking about? Well, let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let me turn on a different camera here real quick. Okay, so here we go. We're going, I just picked this guy up here. It is a, a Lezoen. 8-point inch portable display. And we're going to go over why I picked this up here in a bit. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and kind of go over um, what I hope to use it for. So we'll go ahead and open this up so you guys can see it. And so this little display is that little. That, that's the whole thing right there. That's it. Now the resolution on this guy is supposed to be, I'm looking over here at this camera, which you can't see, I should be looking. Uh, <laughs> this monitor is supposed to be a resolution of 1920 by 480 tall. So not tall, just wide. And these are typically used in computer towers for just extra fancy displays. Uh, we're gonna see what we can use it for. I went ahead and picked it up. And I should note, I got to look at the right camera. I should note, I'm not being sponsored by this product in any way, shape, or form. I picked this up. Uh, no reason I picked this brand other than I could get it within 48 hours. Um, it's more so I wanted the portable size. And I wanted the ability uh, for it to be nice, small, compact. And I'm hoping to have it display and set it right here. Now, why would I set it there? Let's, ah, I'll figure this camera thing out. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of review. I uh, need you to see the main screen again here. So here's my dilemma. When I'm streaming and I'm recording content um, live and I want viewers to chit chat with me and streaming and, and feedback and all this, it's kind of difficult for me to find out which screen I, I, I might have everybody's chat windows on. So as you can see, oh, let me jump back over here. As you can see on this monitor over here, this is where I've got my OBS studio. And I just got this monitor hooked back up for the longest time. I was sitting here only on the wide screen. This is an ultra wide screen, 344, no. 3,440 by 1,440 resolution ultra wide monitor. Whew, got that right. Uh, this monitor here, just 1920 by 1080. This is where I'll usually have my OBS studio running, but I will be gaming and doing everything else on this screen where I have my camera set up, my main camera anyway, which is for those that might want to know, that's an Elgato uh, 4K. Uh, webcam, uh, what do they call it? The, the Pro 2, uh, the 4K Pro 2, I think it's called, something like that. But it's an Elgato 4K webcam. I believe it is their Pro 2 version of that webcam. So my difficulty is with these, trying to communicate with you, pe with you people, with my fans, trying to communicate with you, the people my fans when I'm doing live streams. What do I mean? So OBS is over here, but 
when I'm trying to juggle everything, I have to open up other things. So uh, let's see, let me go full screen just so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm looking at here. Mm. Okay, so here we go. You've got YouTube Studio. So when I'm streaming, this screen comes up. And then I have Twitch and this screen comes up. And the problem is, there are, I have used tools to combine all the chat boxes into one window and I struggle with it. It doesn't work quite, I, I don't like how they work. Let me just put it that way. I just don't like how they work. I haven't found one I really enjoy yet. So right now what I, I end up doing is I will come in here to Twitch and I'll do a pop out little chat window. So I'll pop that chat out and then I'll come over here to YouTube and I'll pop this one out. So I have these two little pop out windows. So that way I can just get rid of that. So now all I have is these two chat windows. But where do I put them? I'm, this is my ultra wide screen. Let me show. Not that camera, this camera. So I've got these two windows here, but where do I put them? OBS Studio is over here, so if I put them over here, I could put them in here as docs and all this kind of stuff, but I'm running out of space. I need to see over here, I need to see my audio, make sure I've got access to anything I'm switching and all this. So it just makes it difficult where to put these windows. So what am I hoping to do? I am hoping to take the two chat windows Boom, down here on this little display. I'm looking at trying to drop those two chat windows down here on the screen. I'll make each one 50% wide. So uh, hopefully I should be able to read it. But then when I'm streaming, it's small enough that I'm still looking straight ahead for the most part. I'll be looking at the camera, but I'll be able to read everybody's comments a lot easier than having to constantly shift my head around. So. With that said, let's go ahead and get this plugged in and then let's see what the display looks like and how everything goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here while I connect the wires or at least run them under my desk so you don't have to, you know, see my legs, arms and everything as I fall and round and trip and bang my head on everything. So we'll be right back. And we're going to change that up a little bit. I got the cables out of the box here. They're not that long. I can't, there's no way they're gonna reach underneath the, the desk here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook this up and I'll have to reposition this camera so that you guys can at least see the screen. I'll try to pop those two uh, chat boxes down on it and we'll go from there. But, I gotta get an HDMI extension cable as well as, what is this guy here? This is a power cable. This is just a USB extension. So that won't be a problem. I've got plenty of uh, USB cables. So if you're wondering, this is the style of connector it has. It is not a USB-C. This is, I think, called the USB Micro before the USB-C was popular. USB-C. And this is just a mini HDMI going to a large HDMI. Now I just need an extension so I can get to my tower without that thing being, you know, pulled too tight. So we're just gonna go ahead and wing it. So, oh, watch this, here we go. Oh, gotta love it. Okay, I know you guys, you guys, you, you get what that was about. Okay, here we go. We're going to pop that. Now it gets its power from USB. This is what's making it portable. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, one second. Why I hook this up. 